my goal for this video after you watching this video i want you to go wow i need that or at least understand like the concept of halogen bulbs and upgrading or considering to upgrade your headlights because halogen bulbs you are not able to see much during the nighttime and i wasn't aware of that because i thought i was able to see enough for me to drive with these halogen bulbs until i upgraded my headlights with hid projector right so this is d2s 5.0 by xenon projector that's got low beam and high beam and you can open the shield up for high beam mode and hid bulbs it was night and day difference for me to see during the nighttime this was like wow when i installed this i was like wow why didn't i do this before right so 35 watt hid kit into this d2s 5.0 projector kit it was night and day experience and i was able to see way more way more and i was like okay so i really don't think i'm going to upgrade anytime soon with this projector kit in my housing until i saw this beautiful brand new mled 2.0 it's got led chip inside for low beam mode and high beam mode obviously by led projector you see the shield in there that opens up and this thing blew away not the 35 watt but the 50 watt hid kit inside the d2s projector housing so i'm going to show you the difference from halogen bulbs to hid bulbs with the hid projector and then going from this to mled 2.0 and I'm very excited to show you, or I'm actually very excited for myself to see the difference and then show you and for you to realize, wow, I need to upgrade my headlights. So let's get right to it. All right, so here's how my halogen headlights looked like before. And then I'm going to show you how everything looks after installing the HID projector or LED projector, and then the halos and LED projector for the high beam. And now taking the headlight housing off of your car may be challenging. Some cars you have to take off the front bumper, but as for this car, E46 330XI, there's only two screws in the top right here, and then one in the side here, and then one in the bottom right here. So there's four screws total, and you can take out your entire headlight housing without taking the front bumper off. And as for other cars, the lenses are sealed with glue, but this particular headlight, there are just plastic clips that you can just pop off. So if you do have regular headlight housing with glue sealed, what you need to do is you have to bake it. So you have to preheat your oven 270 degrees and you have to bake, quote unquote, bake your headlight for seven minutes and your glue will be loose so that you can take off your headlight lens. All right, you've baked your housing and the glue is loose or you just got plastic clips and let's remove the housing lens. Let's remove the bulbs in the back. And this is the side, low beam side, we're going to drill right here. And our projector bowl will fit in this reflector bowl. going to fit like so just like that and the threaded shaft will come out on the back and we're going to lock it with this ring before dremeling 
and after dremeling. Before, after. Now, our protector ball will fit right in. And so here is the difference between the D2S 5.0 HID projector and then the MLED 2. So because of this heat sink and the fan, I will have to drill holes here to make space for the cooling fan. And that's pretty much the major difference between the MLU2 and the D2S 5.0. Right here. This is how the MLE 2.0 comes out straight from the box. So the threaded shaft is detached. And that's for mostly for customers using the mounting bracket with the bracket holes. But obviously I'm going to have to attach this. And in order for me to attach my threaded shaft on the back, I will have to take off this cable. And you will need two millimeter Allen wrench key for this screw right here. I'm going to take that off. And then unplug this cable here. And I'm going to put this through right here. Actually this way. And then plug it back in. Use the guide here. And then reinstall the screw. can sort of reroute the wire here Now we've got the threaded shaft mounted and then we are ready to install this ML82 into the headlights. Okay, so the only difference between the ML82.0 installation and the D2S 5.0 is I did have to drill out the holes for the bottom portion just so I can clear my cooling fan and everything else is exactly the same. Once you put it through the reflector bowl, 
This is the lock ring and lock ring tool and you're just going to start tightening it. And then once it's tight it'll stay in place. And you just want to hand tighten it for now because you will have to adjust the beam pattern later. Okay. That should be good for now. And when you adjust the beam pattern later, you might have to adjust it left and right. So leave it a little bit loose. Okay. So the top hole right here, I'm going to put the wire through. Bring it around. And put it through this hole. Hold it like that. Okay. All right, now I've actually tightened down everything and nothing's shaking, sturdy. Going anywhere. And now we can put back this cover. Wow, that looks so good. All right, now we're going to figure out the wiring. So, this is MLED 2.0 driver, and this is for the projector itself. Okay, and then there's low beam. So following the low beam wire, I am using my canvas harness for canceling on my error code back to the OEM low beam wiring. And then following the high beam with my high beam splitter. So this is the OEM high beam wiring and I'm splitting into two. One for my high lens, which is the high lens, and then one for the MLD2. And only thing about the MAD 2.0 driver is that the wiring is polarity specific. So as you can see, there's plus and negative. So if some reason your MLED 2.0 doesn't work right away, just make sure to reverse or flip the polarity and that should fix the issue. All right, that's it.